which is Pareto chart. It is a visual tool used to identify which problems are most significant. If you look into this Pareto chart, hard disk is supposedly causing most number of problems for me, followed by PCB, circuit board, followed by printer, then the CD-ROM and the keyboard. But do I need to focus on all of these things? No. Pareto chart says, often we use 80-20 rule. 80% of the problems occur because of 20% of the causes. So my hard disk and PCB both put together probably is having 80% of the problems. So if I address these two issues, I'll address 80% of the problems. I can either represent in this way or I can represent in this. Doesn't matter, right? right? So Pareto chart focuses on area where we can have the greatest financial impact in the least amount of time or with the fewest resources. Spend less time, spend few resources, give me the maximum benefits. What would you do? You would end up using Pareto chart. Okay, now, how do I construct a Pareto chart, by the way? This is how you do. You identify what is your critical to quality or what is your critical to output. Why? For data collection. Select what would the broad categories be to be explored. Sort the data into those specific categories. Graph with the bars which are ordered in decreasing frequency beginning from left. Check your chart for 80-20 pattern and make sure you have not mixed dissimilar categories into one. If these five steps are sounding alien to you, then bear with me while we do an exercise on this, right? And then things will become even more clear for you. Here is a Pareto analysis. It is used to organize the data to show major inputs which are influencing your output. It is frequently referred to as the search for significance. You try, to, you try to identify the significant things, right? The basis for building a Pareto is 80-20 rule. Typically, approximately 80% of the problems result from approximately 20% of the causes. An outcome of the Pareto analysis is nothing but your Pareto chart. Here is a case study which we'll be focusing on now, gym promotional campaign. Let us read and understand the case study first. After a promotional campaign, number of walk-ins to the gym increased from 2,500 to 4,000. Aspirants would fill in the application form. People who want to join your gym will fill the application form. They would usually have 10% incomplete applications, but because of the promotional campaign, because of the increase in the number of applications, they have seen that the percentage of incomplete applications have increased to 20% from 10%. Now the gym owner is a little concerned. He has listed down all the sections in the application form and the frequency of each section not being complete. You are a Six Sigma consultant now, right? You are the Six Sigma consultant. Please carry out appropriate analysis to identify the vital few sections, which when fixed will reduce the percentage of incomplete applications. What would you do? Now comes a magic box into play. What is a magic box, by the way? Mini tab, right? So let us look into mini tab and let us try to solve this problem. Ah, let me go to this. Here is this. Application form has all this increase. These are the number of incomplete entries out of all the application forms. And here are the various remarks on what was missing in all that. Entire name was missing in three entries. Nationality was missing in two entries. Date of birth, people were entering their date and month, but they were not entering their year because maybe they do not want to disclose their age and you know, tell to the world that they are old now, maybe. 238 entries. Number of children, only one application form had that missing entry. So on and so forth, right? Mobile number, the 132 people did not mention their mobile numbers. So 
these are the various sections and this is a count of incomplete entries and these are a few of the remarks on what we're missing basically now i want to do a pareto chart on this i simply go to stat quality tools and i do pareto chart click on that here is what i get right defects where are the defects in or in this application form entries how many defects are the frequencies or in count of incomplete entries i simply select that and click on ok oh here comes the pareto chart count of incomplete entries is here and the reasons on why the application form was incomplete or which section was incomplete is on the x-axis look at this date of birth contributes to t238 entries and 23.8 percent of the total incomplete applications are because of incomplete date of birth the second one is 189 credit card details 189 entries were missing it contributes to 18.9 percent of the total and if i add these two 23.8 and 18.4 i get 42.7 which is a cumulative percentage mobile numbers 132 entries were missing which contributes to 13.2 percent in total and if i do a cumulative if i add up date of birth credit card details and mobile number missing entries the count would come up to 55.8 and i have to go until i get 80 percent here approximately 79 or 7.9 and the cumulative is 83.7 so here i'm touching that 80 percent if we go up go up go up go up it says okay here is where you get 80 percent right you can look into that percentage by comparing against this 80 percent is here cumulative right and that says nearest landmark what should i do now focus on nearest landmark and all the things which are left to this that means reference contact details income details mobile number credit card details and date of birth one two three four five and six if i focus on these six sections i will be able to address 80 percent of the issues wow in total how many sections do we have out of which you need to focus on only six how many do i have click on this to go back to the worksheet i have in total 19 sections don't focus on all 19 only focus on six out of these 19 it will help you address 80 percent of the issues wow that sounds cool isn't it okay let us go back to this presentation it is the same thing which is attached right for your reference if you forget on the navigation path look into this go to stat quality tools pareto chart this is how you need to fill the details and this is the output that you would get this is your area of interest 80 percent draw a line from 80 percent where does it interact here somewhere which is nothing but nearest landmark everything towards the left of nearest landmark is an area of interest for you focus on those you'll get 80 percent result right six out of nine entries right one two three four five six focus on six out of total 19 entries and your job is done within less time you'll get significant improvement